like everyone else. Mm. Oh, not everyone else. Yeah, hey, we're all still here. <laughs> the ones that count the are still here. Yeah, the the Only the strong survive. What were the poor decisions that got me to Door County Broadband? <laughs> How did I get here? Oh. <laughs> um, and you had to talk over the top of that area. Now I have to fix it. I mean, come on. Are we gonna fix it in post? Oh, oh God, Mike. We've been able to experience things that we haven't been able to experience lately. Um, cut. <laughs> yeah. Work it for the camera. You want to be a star, don't you? Take your router and you throw it off a cliff. That's on you. The Door County Broad. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't have How any gray hair. <laughs> you had gray hair. So you were 40, 40, 40 was okay. 42, something So this like is that. a dozen years ago, or 10 years ago. ago. But I didn't have any gray hair. And so we walk into this hotel, and Kevin's like, I would like to get a room. So she's like, well, it's $139. And he goes, well, come on. I mean, you've got to have better. There's nobody in the parking lot. You've got to have a better deal. She's like, well, we can do 129 So he keeps trying to get a better deal. I'm like, there's and nobody she says, you want money, you can have do you take, like... Any discount card? She goes, oh, we take our. our. <laughs> and I said, so this is. I go, come on, Uncle Sparky, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> the, gal, the gal behind <laughs> she just, the counter, she could have, she, her lips were pursed so tight, she couldn't even eat the jelly bean. <laughs> <laughs> and he just looks at me, and I was like, you were the so, perfect... she, so we got the room for like 190. Yeah, one, yeah. Good deal. And we're walking down the hall, and we get goes, "What the heck was that?" I go, "That was like my best moment ever." Like, because where did that come from? Like, I don't know. That was awesome. It came out of nowhere. Yes, it nowhere. did. And the next morning, as we're checking in, it said, "We're going to go down, drop our keys, and out the door." We walk in, and they're like, "It's the same two ladies." No talking. Oh, dang it. Come on, Uncle Sparky, let's go get Sparky. She said I could have him. I didn't take it. Lee Manson ended up basically loaning me out to Door County Broadband um, one day a week before I started working here full time. And when Door County Computer closed, I found myself with a full time position. Uh, I definitely came in with. Not a whole lot of experience. I was fresh out of college, you know, basically within the month. Nervous about working phones. I was shy, too shy to talk to anybody. Uh, and just Pam and Kevin helped me come out of that shell and, and their collective charisma was enough to, to produce who I am today in a way. I came to Door County Broadband because I needed a change. I, am, I was coming from a part-time job and realized my boys were getting so much more expensive. I needed a full-time job. I saw the ad online and it sounded like a hoot. I mean, coffee, lunch, Nerf gun wars, who can resist? I'm so thankful, Kevin and Pam, that you chose me. I came to Door County Broadband back in March. Uh, Kevin and Pam were gracious enough to allow me to try out what I wanted to do to see if it would be a good fit or not. Uh, the first initial thought was that I was gonna be an installer. I have spent a day with Chris in the field. Uh, without a seatbelt, um, climbing on roofs. Sorry, OSHA. Sorry, Pam. Baxter told me that they were hiring, and I was very interested. So I applied literally that day. I was really excited, but I was also scared. I was scared that it was so different than anything else that I've ever done. With speaking with uh, with the bosses, you know, I, I talked to them outside of the presence of the previous owners. Um, they just seem like just great people and just a, a wonderful fit for uh, both myself and as well as the customers, uh, the former WISTEC customers. 
Um, didn't really like the other options that were available for myself or for, for those customers. Um, I just felt like this was the best way to go and, and ultimately it, it was the best way to go. It's uh, pretty happy over here at DCB. I first met Pam and Kevin at church um, and my son introduced me to them and uh, I immediately felt a connection with them because of their warmth and grace. Um, after that, uh, Shannon, my son, told me that Pam and Kevin were interested in hiring some new people and I was very interested because of my first impressions of you Kevin and Pam. So um, I came and interviewed with you guys and I was um, very excited but didn't know if I was going to be a good fit for you. Anyway, um, you guys have been extremely gracious and I have appreciated some deeper things about you than I ever expected. Uh, SHP was being delivered and uh, the, the truck was pulling, was going to be uh, in Sturgeon Bay in a half an hour. And Kevin's like, oh, we gotta go, we gotta get there. We gotta, and uh, Pam's like, well, you need somebody to help you unload that stuff. And he was like, oh, well, Lee's busy and uh, Paul's you know, off on a service call or something like that. And I just kind of raised my hand on it. So uh, th they just looked at each other and went, okay. And somewhere along the, 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 <clears throat> the drive to Sturgeon Bay, I guess I got a job. I don't know, I, I don't know what I said, but all of a sudden I just had a job. I feel like it was just like such a easy transition coming back. Um, it was so nice getting to sit down with Pam and discuss coming back and um, the options of what they had and um, when I was working for them previously I had wanted to learn a lot of tech stuff anyway so um, it was you know as the office is always busy um, we just didn't have the opportunity and there was always um, someone kind of in the tech one position that was like <laughs> floating in and out of our lives um, not staying other than Nate and Aaron so um, when I did talk to Pam and she kind of threw that at me I was extremely happy to have the option to do that. Working at Door County Brabant, it's a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great environment. It feels like a very, uh, everybody just feels like a family here, you know, and uh, it, it's just fantastic. I'm glad that I, I, I came this route. When I first started at Dark County Broadband, I had no idea what exactly this was going to become. I didn't know if this was going to be an opportunity for me uh, in the short term until I found something more appropriate in my field, uh, or if it was going to blossom into something that it has now, where I have the opportunity to do not only social media and marketing, but also to work in customer service and to be able to have an option to find new ways to become a leader, to find new ways to uh, develop not only as a person, but also as uh, someone in the business and professional world as well. Uh, since being here, I've learned invaluable skills that uh, Kevin, you've taught me, that Pam, you've taught me. I've gotten a lot closer with everybody in the office, and I think we've really had this new sense of camaraderie and new sense of family, uh, and it's been a wonderful thing to be a part of since coming in March. We all have a good time together. The staff, for the most part, really just like, it's like a family, and um, it the memories really are just, you know, coming in and just it being easy to like come in and um, everyone wants you to learn and everyone wants you to kind of understand like what is going on and how the network works and really um, you know be able to communicate that to the general public in the area to try to like help them out and help the company, the company out in turn so that um, people understand really like where we're coming from. I love it. I love everything. I love that it's different every day and I know what to expect, but not, you know, 100%. And I love how much I'm learning. I love how easy everyone is to talk to and to ask questions to, and that they, you know, talk to me. I think my favorite thing would be that it always feels like we really are a whole, that we, you know, are all in it together. You know, it doesn't just take one person to do this entire thing. It takes literally every single one of us to make the show run. And I love it.
So many times our customers uh, are disappointed or wish that they had service and can't get it or they wish that everything was free. Um, you always support us and help us to navigate through those difficult times. I mean, the, the leadership qualities that they've both taught me and beyond the professional, just the who they are as people. You know, I find myself going out and if I'm in a situation I not comfortable with, I say, what would Kevin do? And I've, I, by the time this airs, maybe I'll have them. I want to put four big block letters up on my wall in the office. WWKD, what would Kevin do? Outside of what we do on a daily basis, I mean, what, what can I really say? You know, watching this entire process of the new office growing, uh, joking about not having lights every day when we come in, uh, playing baseball inside the office while Kevin and Pam were gone. Sorry guys, we didn't break anything, that was Aaron. Uh, and outside of that, just being able to, to be myself in the most raw and organic way possible, but also still being able to be a professional as well. So it's, it's hard to pick a couple of favorite memories because there's been so many, uh, and every day I come to work and I leave with a whole new batch of them. So uh, it's definitely a great opportunity that I'm very grateful to have. You guys are great. <laughs> uh, seriously, you are. Uh, it's been wonderful working here. Um, I, I do, you know, like I said before, I felt like I was part of decision making. I, I still feel that way. I feel like, like we're all, uh, we can all be individuals and we can, we, we can all bring something to the table. And it all starts with you guys because you actually pay attention to us and you make us feel like we belong here and that you want us here. And it, it, it's very rare, it's very rare to find a job like this that you actually feel like you're part of the team and not just an employee. That um, if you say something, you will be listened to. And um, yeah, it's just great. And also, um, you know, uh, there's a great fine line between this is a business and we have work to be done and let's have fun. It's kind of the same. There's, it's a kind of a blurred line there and I love that. So. And this is probably where I start blubbering. Um, is um, I've never, I've worked for a lot of people. I've worked for a lot of businesses um, over my lifetime, but I've never worked for any company run by more gracious and generous and kind people. But in the past four months getting to know you guys, I don't think I've ever met anybody uh, as genuinely kind as you guys. Um, not just in a person, but uh, as well as an, as an employer, you know, I mean, I've never been treated the way that you guys treat myself and all of your employees. Um, it's just off the wall how, how, how great you guys are to, to the people that work for you. Uh, and I think I speak for everybody on that. I think everybody appreciates the, the, the things that you guys do for everybody. Um, you know, particularly me coming from where I was, uh, where I was coming from, working in the environment I was, um, uh, just being a name and a number, uh, not really contributing to anything other than, you know, somebody else's way of life. Um, you know, essentially just working for somebody and not working uh, with somebody, not being a part of something. And since I've come over here, you guys have been so accommodating for me uh, and have done so much for me in such a short period of time. They took a chance on me when they didn't know. And it's given me stability. It showed me that I can, you know, if I put my mind to things, that I really can accomplish more than I even thought that I could. You guys have helped me, you know, believe in myself and believe I can pretty much do anything. And, you know, I don't have much family or anything here. I already feel like this is, you know, another family. You guys already mean so much to me and you don't even necessarily know it. And you don't really have to do anything for, you know, me to feel that way. I just genuinely appreciate everything that you do and that you make me a better person. Where do I begin to start? I 
enjoy being here. I've learned so much from you guys. I love that you're supportive of all of us as um, individuals and you really listen to us and um, that you've given me the opportunity to come back and actually learn and grow as a person is absolutely just the best thing that I could um, have and imagine, so I really appreciate that. These last few months have not been exactly how I thought my life was going to go. I thought I was going to be here for a couple of months, maybe, and then I was going to be on my way uh, because working in customer service was the last thing that I wanted to do. Uh, Kevin and Pam took the time to uh, work with me, to develop me into who I am today, and I hope that uh, the joy that you guys bring me uh, is exuded back to you because of the amount of time that you spend pouring into myself and my family and everybody else that's here at Door County Broadband. Well, Pam and Kevin, needless to say, the things that I've learned from both of you will stick with me for a lifetime. And I think I speak for all of us when I say we love you. And thank you. Thank you and uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done for me. Thank you. Um, we want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Thank you very much for uh, four wonderful years. Um, let's, uh, let's keep this going. Uh, let's uh, have more fun. And uh, Merry Christmas. Thank you for everything you do. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Kevin and Pam. And thank you so very much for the opportunity to join your family at DCB. It means a lot to me and my entire family. I would have never guessed that in looking for a full-time job, I would have gained so much more than that. Thanks again. So for the last three years, thank you very, very much for having me here and teaching me so much. And um, I love you both and have a wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, Pam and Kevin, I think there's only one thing I really have to say to you guys. That's, I love you. That pretty much sums it up.